The destruction of Alderaan was just the beginning of the planetary onslaught that the Empire had planned as a means of wiping out all traces of the Rebel Alliance. Had the Death Star survived the Battle of Yavin, a few more planets would have been destroyed by the Battle Station as a final blow to the galaxy-wide rebellion. An older Luke Skywalker saw this outcome in a Force dream of his, where he witnessed an alternative reality where he never answered Leia's message from R2-D2 and instead remained on Tatooine for the rest of his life. As a result of him never joining the fight, the Rebel Alliance lost the Battle of Yavin as they failed their attack on the Death Star, which ultimately destroyed nearly their entire organization as Yavin 4 was targeted and annihilated by the Battle Station Super Laser. But the Empire didn't stop there, as it went on to destroy two more planets, Moncala and Chandrilla. After these two planets were turned into space dust, the galaxy apparently never had any major Rebel activity afterwards. So why were Moncala and Chandrilla destroyed by the Empire in this alternative reality? Well, just like with Alderaan, they were the central points of rebel activity and the homeworlds of many major rebel leaders. Admiral Akbar and his fellow naval peers were of course from Moncala, a planet which actively resisted against the Empire on its own for quite a bit of its history, and they put up quite a fight to the point where they were a large thorn in the Imperial side, so they definitely had to go in Palpatine's eyes. Chandrilla, on the other hand, was the homeworld of Mon Mothma, the central leader of the Rebel Alliance. The planet's wealth and assets were secretly funneled to finance some of the Rebels' earliest engagements. Plus, many of Chandrilla's politicians were some of the most outspoken voices against the Empire, so it's no surprise that Palpatine wanted it destroyed too. And as a bonus, Alderaan was also destroyed for being a hotbed of Rebel activity and for being the homeworld of Bail Organa and his many allies who helped forge alliances among local rebel cells across the galaxy, which ultimately led to the creation of the Alliance to restore the Republic. Thanks for watching this video. Help support the channel by becoming a member on our Patreon page, and be sure to subscribe for more videos like this one. And as always, may the Force be with you.